Author Kelly Linden says New Zealand has one of the worst methamphetamine problems in the world. She has personally witnessed people close to her being affected by the drug and has chosen to highlight the issue in her first novel called Crystal Rain, uh, which is a great way to expose the problem. Welcome, Kelly. Thank you for coming on the cafe. Thank you. It is great to have you here. OK, so New Zealand, one of, you know, a big problem for us at the moment. What have you personally seen and observed? Um... In initially, it was just things I heard in the news, um, especially you know around the 2003 with the Anthony Dixon case with the samurai oh, yes. swords and um, Mark Lyon, all those cases. And it wasn't until about 2009 that it started to, to affect me personally because a family friend got hooked on it. Right. And I just saw this guy who was just this amazing family man descend into what I can only call madness. Right. He lost everything he had. He lost his family, he lost his wife, he lost his business, and he's currently in jail. Mm, okay. Wow, so, um, so can you give us a brief synopsis then? You, you've taken that personal experience, mm. but you've actually created Crystal Rain as a fiction book. So you, can have... you, yeah, give us a bit of a synopsis of what's, what's going on in the book. Um, so the book was inspired by what I saw happen to my friend. Um, and then once I started to talking to others about meth, it was always the same story. And I started to look more into it because I still didn't quite understand what had happened to him. So I went to the library and I was looking for a book that could explain more about it in, you know, easier terms to understand. Yep. And all I could find was medicine, you know, medical type books. And I didn't find them particularly, I mean, you can read them, but they're hard to understand. Yeah. And this was the book I was looking for, and I just couldn't find it. Right. So I was kind of hoping that somebody would do it, and to the best of my knowledge, no one's done it, at least not in New Zealand. So I decided to do it myself. Um, so the book is a fictional family. Um, the main character in the book that's hooked on the drug is actually a female. So my friend was a male, but I turned the character into a, um, into a female. Um, and it's basically it's the same thing that happened to my friend, this descent into this madness. What do you usually write? Uh, I usually write romance. Well, OK, <laughs> so, so this must have been a, a big shift, or was it similar? Um, in terms of discipline, it's the same type of process. You right. need to set time aside each day and each week to write. Um, but the content was very different. Um, I certainly don't have things like severed limbs and uh, beatings and no. <laughs> hallucinations in my romance stories. <laughs> right. no. Can I ask, so, you know, you, you're saying it's a really massive problem in New Zealand. It is. Um, when you were doing your research, did it strike you that it was all sorts of people? It's not just what people think is, this is mm. the archetypal person that will take meth. It actually can hit anyone. Absolutely. Yeah, it's across the whole board, and in the process of writing this book, which was around three years, it was very interesting seeing the type of people that came out to me, so to speak, yeah. about what they'd been using. And they were people I would never have guessed. They were in my circles. I didn't, some of them I didn't know that well, but when they found out I was writing a book of this nature, they wanted to discuss it more with me, and I was really shocked. And you're right about that. I guess there's a stereotype, isn't there, when you think of methamphetamine users, and that stereotype from your experience is wrong. Um, there's still this misconception that if you're using meth, well, you must have some sort of criminal element to your life. Um, or I think the biggest misconception that people have is that it won't happen in my family. Mm. Right. Or it won't happen to anyone I know. And I'm the author of this book, and I was shocked by the amount of people that I thought I knew. And, you know, unbeknownst to probably everybody that knew them, they were involved in this drug. So, so is this a learning tool for us or is it to help us understand more about the meth problem and what it does to your loved ones? Uh, both. OK. Yeah. I mean, folks that read the book, um, I did write it for the families of people who are being affected by meth because it's a very isolating experience. And I thought, well, you know, if I could write a book about what happens, you know, within a family that's affected by meth, it might make them feel a little less alone. Yeah. Um, and I also wrote it for anyone who may like to learn more about it. Right. Um, 
in anyone who might enjoy a good read. Yeah, no, no, well, I like the way you've covered it. I'm nice. guessing as well that um, there's a lot of stigma attached. So you're saying, you know, these families are alone in dealing with it because there's a huge stigma. Unlike, I said, I guess, an alcohol problem, which seems to be more people more open about, you know? Mm. Would you, is that, is that why you felt it's so important as well? Because so as many well. people are alone. Yeah, and you know, understandably, meth is a really scary drug. Um, I mean, my friend, for instance, you know, he lost all his friends. Nobody came to the house anymore. In the end, I was his only friend. And in the end, even I withdrew from him because he was just so abusive. Yeah. Right. And you can't have a conversation with somebody who's just constantly using methamphetamine because they're incoherent. How much does it cost to have a meth habit? Oof. <laughs> um, well, apparently it's only $600 a gram now. Only. <laughs> wow. OK, cool. So but you... if you're smoking $600 um, you know, a day, if you're smoking a gram a day, that's a lot of money to spend on anything. Mm. But it used to be between $800 and $1,000. Right. So, so you wow. know, <laughs> you've obviously been ahead of the conversation in New Zealand because you've been affected by it personally. And, there's, you know, there are conversations which are happening now, which is great. Mm. What do you think, from your experience, is the one thing we can do to help stop the methamphetamine problem in this country? Um, can I say there's two things? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I think there needs to be a culture change. Um, that I'm not quite sure how to put into place because I think one of the reasons we've got such a big problem in New Zealand with meth, because we're the only country along with Australia in the world that have this problem with okay. meth. I didn't know that. Only New right. Zealand and Australia wow. have meth as their first drug of choice. Wow. And I think a big part of that is, and this is just my opinion, is our work ethic. And we do work hard, we do play hard, and when you're using this drug, it makes you work harder. And it makes you play harder. Right. There's also the key we try anything once. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know, that sort of attitude. And there's the binge culture. Mm hmm And there's the telling of stories. Now, you listen to a whole bunch of Kiwis telling stories when they're getting loaded. It's all about all the other times they've been loaded. Mm hmm You know? I think this comes into it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's also, I think, needs to have a lot more emphasis is getting help for those who need it, who right. really need it. And there are people who are just crying out for help to get off this drug and there's very little help available. To go into a rehab service, that's about between sixteen and twenty thousand dollars. That's not the sort of money most of us have lying around. Right. And um, if you've had a pee habit or a, you know, then you've spent probably a lot of your money already. And you've probably you, spent yeah. all your family yeah. Yeah. money yeah. and sold your car and so <laughs> Look, it's been absolutely fascinating, I Kelly. I know, yeah. and um, a great book. <laughs> Kelly's book, Crystal Rain, is available at all good bookstores now. Get a copy. Yeah, thanks for sharing your experiences, and clearly a good read, lots to learn. <laughs>